Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Franklin and today I'm going to share one of my most favorite books, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. As I'm reading, I'm going to be asking some of these questions that are found on the bookmark that you have that was sent home with you for parent night. When you read at home, your parents can use this bookmark to help you. They don't have to read all of the questions, just have them pick a few. And if you don't have anybody reading with you, you can ask yourself some of the questions on there. The name of my book is Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. When I first look at this book, I have some thoughts. And one of them is, I wonder why his day is so bad. And then if you look at his face, you can tell that he's not happy at all about getting up. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running. And I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Have you ever had a day like that where whenever you wake up, everything seems to go wrong? I have, and it makes me want to go right back to bed. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box, but in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'm going to move to Australia. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. So our main character, Alexander, is definitely having a bad day. I want you to stop and think, what are some events that caused his day to be so bad? And then predict, do you think his day is going to get better? or is it gonna to continue to get worse? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. I want you to look at his picture here. Why wouldn't she like a picture of his invisible castle? Think about what invisible means and why she might not like that picture better than the others. At singing time, she said, I sang too loud. At counting time, she said, I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, no good, very bad day. So just a minute ago, I asked you to make a prediction on whether you thought his day was going to get better. Has it gotten any better or has it gotten worse? I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moya was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to pack a dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist, and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to be in Australia. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot, and while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. And while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. 
I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, I told everybody, and no one even answered. Poor Alexander. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copy machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful as could be, except for my elbows. He also said, don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Look at his dad's face. Do you think he's having a bad day also? Or do you think his day was going okay until he got his visit? There were lima beans for dinner, and I hate limas. There was kissing on TV, and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep, and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out, and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says, some days are like that. And when I think about it, some days I've had a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. And his mom said, even in Australia. So as I finish this book, I want you to think about what events in the story happened in the beginning that made his, his day bad in the middle and then at the end and make a prediction. Do you think he's going to have a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day the next day also? Thank you for joining me for my read aloud today.